uh, one of the major learnings uh, I have had uh, as a type designer is uh, earlier on I had this misunderstanding that type design is an individual activity. Okay, that there are these singular master designers. Okay, who sit and design fonts. Okay, uh, as I started designing a font, I realized it takes a village, if not more people, to design a font. Okay, and I have been fortunate to be part of a community. Okay, which helped me design a font. Okay, so the font that you see here, the development which I'm going to show, uh, is not my design per se. I, I, I initiated it. I did the initial drawings. Okay, Yash worked on it. But there were a whole range of people who actually told me, Girish, turn this a bit little over here. Make this round. Okay, this needs to be a little broader. Okay, they did not actually work on the font, but through their feedback, uh, they made the font so much more better. Okay, now the initial idea for me uh, to design a typeface was to come up with a slightly condensed contemporary monolinear Devanagari. Okay, and so I started with uh, pretty radical ideas, both me and Yash. Uh, for, so the first line is the first stage. Okay, uh, it, it sort of follows contemporary fonts, which it has a sort of a wideish curve. Okay, and we tried some very innovative knots. Okay, uh, later on we tried to be even more wacky, and we did another range of them. Uh, we realized that that approach was not working that there is this strong notion of traditionality, there has to be a certain grace to the letters, uh, which we tried to get in the next one, okay? And then we realized even that is not working, then we moved on to the next one, and now we are at stage number five. And I still am not happy with many of the letters, but nevertheless, uh, I can in some sense show the progression, okay? What I'd like to show over here is, if you look at the last two slides, which is this one and this one, okay, you'd see there's a straight row, Again, there's this slightly rounded row, right? Uh, now that took us actually three, four months to get, okay? And it actually came as a feedback from a master designer, okay? This is not our conception, okay? So for most people who think uh, font design can be done by a single individual, I think uh, that, that claim is, is slightly wrong because we constantly go to masters, to common people, a whole range of people and keep getting their feedback. And through their feedback, they keep telling us how to improve our fonts on our, on our earlier concept. So, so the, the name is quite funny. The name is Firang. Uh, uh, there's a whole range of social history to it. Uh, the, I'm a, the, the, uh, the, the, the sort of circles that I hang out in, uh, Firang is used uh, as a tongue in cheek because uh, when people come in, so log kehte ki, arey aaj kal to firangi bhi font bana le lagay apne. Ya fir, from from the old Manoj Kumar movies, uh, they would say, "Tum firangiyo ko iman becha hai apna," which is <laughs> which is to say, which is to say. Uh, so I thought it would be a tongue in cheek. I thought it was very funny. The name sort of struck with me. Uh, 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 it's it, it's not used so much, which is why I've just sort of put it. So. We essentially designed the typeface. Uh, we did the open type encoding. Uh, this is how it looks. It's a condensed Devanagari narrow column use. Okay, I'll just sort of zoom in to show you some of the fun things that we've done. For example, we kern ligatures, which is where you will see uh, letters. Let us go underneath letters. Uh, you'd see over here. This is this usually I think doesn't happen in Devanagari. Uh, at the same time, okay, I wanted to set my thesis in my own font, which is when I designed a sans, a Latin sans, okay? And, and there's this very hot area which we all have been thinking about, is how do you match fonts, okay? Uh, and, and, and all of it. To be very honest, um, there's, there's no morphological matching as such. The Devanagari, to be very honest, follows a very, very different way in the way in which it's drawn and the Latin follows a very different way, okay? We, in the sense, I will make no claim to say that they are similar, uh, even in their counters or even in their grays. Uh, so we did try the grays, and w w the, you can say that in some sense you want to attempt to get the same gray, 
And after a point of time, I started questioning that. Why would you want the same gray? Uh, you would want to question why would you want the same texture? Uh, part of the problem lies in the fact that there are no softwares which can actually uh, set indent type the way you want it to. Okay? So here we've created an open source software uh, which, which when you track it, the Shiro extends. So this has been slightly tracked and the Shiro sort of extends uh, to sort of fill in the space. But by and large, due to its intricacy, Devanagari will look darker than the Latin. Uh, we then started putting on weights. So we went on from hairline for both Devanagari and Latin to medium, uh, to semi-bold, extra bold, black, and ultra black. Okay. Uh, yeah, so an, an ultra black is a special nightmare, especially for a Devanagari type designer. Uh, if you want to ever scare me, all you have to say is J ultra black. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that gives me nightmares for, uh, for at least a week. Okay. Uh, there are two approaches uh, that I've seen in type design. Okay. Uh, usually what people do is, if you've seen contemporary typefaces, they start with a wide curve. The kind of curve that I'd sort of shown in. And as you add weight, the weight is added inside. Okay. Uh, now, I did not want to take that approach because I thought the curve was far too wide. The curve becomes too wide. So what we've done over here is, is we, we, we sort of squoosh the curve down. So from light to medium, it remains the same. Okay. But when it goes from medium to black, it sort of comes down. Okay. So this is, so we have like 13 weights. Okay. Uh, goes all the way from hairline to black, okay. or ultra black. But the problem is uh, type designers, Graphic designers are very finicky people uh, when it comes to, well, using understanding type. Uh, and I constantly kept on going to people to ask them about their feedback. And uh, most of the feedback was nice. Okay? Initially, everything is nice. Okay? But then I started getting comments like, uh, Girishka font technically acha hai. Okay? Which is to say, aesthetically acha nahi hai. <laughs> Okay, or to say that well, Girishka font print mein choti size mein achha dikhta hai, which is to say that body size mein achha nahi dikhta hai. And, and there is some truth to it, in the sense I, I had designed it for a particular size on print and so on and so forth. So only the, the darker weights have in some sense the kind of aesthetic sensibilities that Devanagari readers are used to. So I said, okay, let's do a traditional Devanagari. Okay, so based on it, we essentially designed a traditional Devanagari, which I think uh, a whole lot of people felt was uh, aesthetically more, just a sec, which I think was aesthetically more uh, liked by people. Uh, it, it is, uh, here again, uh, there was this attempt to try and match the monolinear Devanagari uh, with the traditional Devanagari. Okay? Uh, but then again, we thought, that that's not working out. So it's almost as completely redrew uh, the letters. Okay, and while we were at it, okay, we designed a serif for the Latin. Okay, uh, so and they, they are still in progress. We, the fonts are not complete, uh, but they are open type coded and so on and so forth. But my goal here is to not come and talk about type design. I had two major questions. And, and which is what I'd like to share uh, for all of you. Uh, they, they, as a type designer, as a Devanagari type designer, one constantly keeps getting the first question, which is, how many glyphs do we design? Does anyone have any idea as to how many glyphs uh, does a Devanagari type designer need to design? I actually started my PhD thesis uh, with this intention to find out how many glyphs to design. Any, any idea, wild guess? Okay, what is the lowest that you can represent Devanagari in? Or historically, what's the lowest glyph count for Devanagari? For Latin, the thing is quite standard. You get the Pan-European thing, you have Cyrillic, Greek, everything is standardized. Fata, 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 you can draw. Any idea? Well, uh, so I had started counting glyphs while I was doing my thesis, okay? And the lowest that Devanagari was represented in was around 88. That's 44 into 2. And they were not really 
things. Then you have linotype which was 100, the hot metal type which is quite bad. Okay. Uh, around 650 was a nice range to look at. Okay. But I was not really happy with these ranges and I was really, really very fascinated by conjuncts or Sanyukta Akshars. Okay. Because it's the number of conjuncts and the way you represent them that considerably influences the number of glyphs that you design. So I historically studied all the typefaces, okay, through my thesis, okay, and I started drawing conjuncts, okay, and counting conjuncts in different places, okay. Uh, so in the first small one, okay, can you see a k k w? Yeah, okay. Then this is a special type of j, j, okay, and this is one of my favorite conjuncts. Okay, it's a can anyone read it? It's a gyan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a gyan plus k plus sh plus y and used in the word akanksha. Okay. So um, when I was designing conjuncts, okay, one thing which I felt sad about and which I strongly feel sad about is and, and I cannot this I cannot comprehend. Okay. I cannot design something which I don't know where it's going to be used. Plain in fact. Okay. So I wanted to know how each glyph is going to look, what matra is going to fit where, and it's only then that I would design it. Okay? Now this information is not available. So when me and Yash, we were designing our fonts parallelly, okay? Oh, so there's, so while I was doing this, uh, I started studying conjects uh, on the street also. So this is something, there's a nice conjunct, okay? There's a duh, duh here. For those of you who can read Marathi, okay, uh, it says Punatil Utkrushta Khaddanche Photo Patwa. Ani Shambharupe Bakshish Mirwa. Okay, so there's, there's three conjuncts. There's D, 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 Y. And it's, it, this is essentially, typically, <laughs> Puneri attitude. Uh, so I, I was. <laughs> so there's. Uh, there's so I, I, studied, I, I studied conjuncts in Sanskrit, I studied conjuncts in Marathi, I was looking at Pali, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what we, what, when me and Yash were designing our typefaces, okay, we essentially had an Excel file. Okay, we took ka, we wrote a word for it. Ka, we wrote a word for it. Ka anuswar, we wrote a word for it. Okay, we did the same for a conjunct. Okay, we wrote half ka, kya, okay, ka ka, words for it. Ka kha, ka ka nukta, so, so tarakki is an Urdu word. So in that sense, we we got Urdu words such as istiqbal, uh, a whole range of Sanskrit words. We would put in quotes and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the thing which we feel is that this information uh, should be shared. So if any one of you wants to design a Devanagari typeface, all you have to do is send a mail to us and we'll share this information with you. Uh, what this helped us do is this helped us create a test case. Okay. A standard way of testing Devanagari is that you do it by width groups. Okay. Uh, but I'm not so sure because there's places where I think it doesn't work. So I have actual words for every conjunct with a matra before and after which is used to test it. Okay. Uh, I tried to sort of draw these letters and create variations for it. So me and Yash were sort of toying around with this idea. Oh, there's, there's a, I'm so sorry, uh, there's a place when I suddenly realized, okay, that I do not know so many things about conjuncts, okay, uh, because I found Urdu conjuncts, I found Sanskrit conjuncts, I found conjuncts which are used only in Marathi, in, there are some which are used in Pali, and there are new conjuncts which are coming up, okay, uh, to incorporate English, okay, so, and I sort of tried to design them, and the design is quite horrible, so here is cursor duh, something which I've tried, okay, Asked, fixed, mixed, right? Uh, so we we sort of tried to put them together, okay? To take the word k k v, okay? Uh, it comes as sari surkwa, okay? The kind of forms that we've seen in, okay? And it is here that I found that my monolinear, frankly, doesn't do any justice, which is where Yash's uh, uh, slightly modulated font, uh, as a as a tool for type designers, a modulated font renders or, or appears to cater to vertical conjunct so much more better than a monolinear font. Uh, so you take the word tra, 
uh, we've, and if you compare the modulated with the thing, I think the one on the right looks much, much more better than the one on the left. Okay, so I'm quickly going to move to the next very important, uh, so that was a more practical problem to think about, okay. I, I was thinking of a more philosophical, conceptual problem, okay, which is what is a family when it comes to type design, okay, uh, because we've designed a monolinear Devanagari, okay, a traditional Devanagari, a monolinear Latin, and a monolinear serif, okay, and uh, uh, how can you say that they are a family or what is it that makes a family? To be very honest, uh, there's very little and similar in all of them. Okay, uh, we tried this, and here's an example. Okay, so the so the top one is monolinear. Okay, uh, one of the explorations that we tried to do is we tried to keep the width the same, which is we kept the skeletal structure the same. Okay, and we moved a traditional pen over it. Okay, and the middle one is the result of it. Uh, in my opinion, the middle one does not look good. It does not give the traditional feeling or doesn't have the aesthetic grace that the bottom one has. Which is why we completely redesigned uh, the bottom one all over again. Okay, so there's actually nothing or there's very little in similar between Firang monolinear and Firang traditional Devanagari. Okay, uh, the same actually works with Latin. Okay, so if you look at gray values, okay, if you look at uh, letter uh, terminals, letter width, okay, we in the end have ended up changing a whole range of parameters, okay. So the basic premise that a font has to be consistent in its terminals, in its widths, in its counters, loops, knots, and so on and so forth, we found ourselves breaking those rules time after time because we wanted to move towards a certain aesthetic uh, which, which we thought was traditional. So to answer the question, what is a family, uh, I think a family is what we want it to be. Uh, just as, well, you and I can be family. Uh, anything within fonts, I think, can be a family. Thank you. Mm -hmm.